Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here. You're watching another episode of Exploring Australia, and I've got another bit of gear review for you. So I thought you'd be interested in it, but I'll tell you more about that after this. So get ready, check it out. Rev it up, pay the toll. Following the wild line of free our soul. The UHS on 25, we got a combo. Well, what gear do we have for you this time? Well, a friend of ours has bought a tent and I thought it'd be interesting to see it when he opens it up and it's the Oztrail don't know if you can see it, Tasman v, 6V tent so I thought, well, it's his first time checking it out so I thought, oh well, I might do a video and review it since a few of you have really enjoyed the other gear reviews that I've done so far and so let's just suss it out, see what's involved and we'll watch him set it up and yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll have a good look at it afterwards. So, here we go. It's got the instructions for you if you need it on the bag. And it looks like a good oversized bag. So as you know, when you pull out a tent, a lot of times the bags uh, just fit it when it's straight from the factory and then you try and put it back in and it's a pain in the ass. But this bag is a lot bigger, so you got some room to play with it when you're packing it up. Got no idea. I'm taking it out. We got two cross members. It's just a big square, as you can see. So we got two solid poles that go from corner to corner, crossover. And then the third pole will be for the door when we get to that, because the door's part of the fly. Bloody sun going behind the cloud again. <laughs> Okay, so you've got two lots of doors, that's good. Yeah, see that's why you needed to zip it up beforehand. It's as big as I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. as big as I thought it was, but same, Like I said, it's still a little bit bigger than our three-man tent, but not a lot. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a pretty big figure actually, but saying that, it's still going to be able to get, yeah? yeah. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm not lending a hand, that's because our friend Bruce here, this is his very first tent. He's only just gotten into camping. Thanks to us, we've sort of like taken him camping a few times with our gear and that. And he's liked it so much, he wants to get involved with it. So he's went out and bought this tent. And yeah, you probably hear the plane in the background. Well, we're outside, so deal with the outside noise. <laughs> but anyway, this is his very first time setting it up. So he just wants to make sure that he can do it on his own. So he's his first time seeing the tent and setting it up on his own. So he wants to be able to make sure that he can definitely get it done on his own when he's camping by himself. Yeah. 
And so far it's been a pretty good setup process. Looks like a really good tent so far. For a six man tent you'd probably think it would be bigger though. Like <laughs> six people would be tight, but we'll see how it goes when we all load it up. So as I said, I'm not being a bastard <laughs> by just sitting here filming him like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's sort of like, we're just making sure that it's something that he can do because obviously this would be easy for two of us to just whip up. Ah, bloody sun. Go away, sun. Oh, now the cloud is going to be up and down. So sometimes this video is going to be blown out. Just <laughs> The sun's playing havoc. So we're just having a look. Oh, there's the door, front door here. Ah. Yeah, so it's, right. it's got to spin it. Okay, so that was kind of my fault because I didn't see the other side of the tent. And I thought, well, well let's go back here. That's a door. And I thought that was the door of it. But on the other and then when I went around I saw all this slack of the fly so I was like hang on that's the front and you got to have it specifically in one way even though you saw two doors on the screen the the actual little pole pegs you got two here at the front and only one at the back so that's why you got to have your fly on the right way There's a good video to show if you're looking at this tent just for yourself, but you want something with a bit of room, how easy it is to set up all on your own. Well, this is showing you exactly how easy it is, because this is Bruce's second time ever of setting up a tent. And it's his first time ever of setting this tent up. So, and you see, he's plowing along, really easy to do. And there's the door, or vestibule, however you want to say it. Although I think as far as six man tent, it's a lot smaller than a what, nine man tent or an eight man tent that has three, oh well, yeah, like heaps of room. So I'm wondering if the six man has to sleep in the vestibule. So how are you finding this tent to put up, Bruce? Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. I'm. I'm impressed with how easy it is. So, yeah, if I can do it, then someone with half a camping brain would be able to do it easily. So, yeah. I'd still reckon they should put some better ties on here to yeah. peg down. Yeah. So you actually got a vestibule at the back, so that's pretty good too. The gang, sorry about the exposure, just wasn't expecting all the sun, so I don't have an ND filter on my camera. Need to get an ND filter actually. But as you can see, it's quite a large tent. A lot of people go, oh, but yeah, what, are these, what does one person need this tent, tent for? Trust me, you want to stand up, you're going to be there for a few days, or a couple days at least. You want a decent sized tent. You want to be enjoying it. And of course this has the grommets. Let's have a look at these. So if you do have poles, you can give yourself a little patio, but they also got it so you can tie it up. So as you can see, it really didn't take that long to set up just for one person to do. And this was the first time not really looking at the instructions, just going by feel. So it's pretty easy to set up. And yeah. So once you get practice doing this a few times, I reckon you could have this up in five minutes, maybe you know ten, but depending on how much of a hurry you're in, you'd probably get it in five if you really book for it. So. Like it a couple of times and it'll be 
Oh, well, it's done in 10 minutes easily. Yeah. It's done. Oz Trail, Tasman, 6V. This is actually quite a large tent. Yes, it says six man. I'd say six men, six person tent laying down. I'd say at least three of them would have to be kids. Okay, I'm six one, and I'm standing up, and I'm not even touching it. So that tells you the height in the middle. And got Bruce laying down doing a sexy pose. So how tall are you, Bruce? Six one. Six, six, six one. Okay, so we're laying down. Showing you. Ready? Yep. So you can see there's plenty of room at the headroom. More than happy with it. Plenty of room at the feet. Ah. Okay, as you can see, there's a good. Oh, hang on. Ah, come down. As you can see, there's a good hands size uh, basin for the tub so that's how high the tub is you actually have a small vestibule at the back there so if you if you really have that much gear and you need to put something else out out of the rain you can throw it down there and the back door also has the grommets on it so you can pin that up so all you got to do is buy yourself a couple tent poles and some cordage and you can actually have a nice little shelter out there. Let's see. Oh, one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, this probably doesn't look too good, but hey, one. Let's turn around. Oh, two. Three. <laughs> Four. Five. Okay, so as far as six man ten, I'm calling BS. I can fit five of me. As you see, I'm right up the edge. So I can fit five of me in this tent. And, well, I'm not small, so. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. So you got two windows. So if you're worried about heat and that, there's gonna be plenty of airflow you got a window on each side you got your great big entrance over there you have a sorry if i make you feel seasick seasick you got a back door and a little vestibule but that can lift up as well so you can have a patio that way and a patio this way so this isn't too bad so i'm standing up in the doorway the main doorway and so this is a good height so you don't have to I'm standing up I'm six one again so that's how high this tent is it's really good especially if you hate bending over all the time so there's definitely one to check out so how much is this going for Bruce about 170. so this is about 170 you won't pay more than that. Yeah. so if you can find it on special you might even get it a bit cheaper, but it's between 150 and 170, and that's yeah, with postage. Oh, that was with postage. So yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, so um, what can you say? Thumbs up. Uh, the Austral Tasman 6V. Uh, I reckon it's an awesome tent, especially for one, two, or three people. I wouldn't go any more than that. Um, yeah, it's an awesome tent. I've had uh, Oz, Oz trails before, and yeah, the rain fly and all that is still the same. So you know it's good quality, it'll keep you dry, minimize condensation the way they designed it. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. For those of you, oh, sorry, the camera's moving. For those of you who are overseas, like in America and that, I don't know about how you'd go about getting an Austrail. I think it's more for the Australian and the Kiwis. Um, but if they do do overseas, check them out. Go check out their website um, and that and see if you, if you are interested in it. It's a really good tent. Uh, 
definitely recommend it. Got to thank Bruce for bringing over the tent. And if you're wondering why he got into camping, it's because he's a photographer. And uh, there's places that he wants to go and photograph. And you know, it's not something that you can just you know go get a hotel room and get to. But you really have to camp because you're just so far out of the way here in Australia in some of the spots. So he tried camping with us and he loved it so much he went out and bought this tent. So got to thank Bruce for bringing over the tent and so I could do this review. And if you want to see what he does, check out Bruiser, B-R-U-Z-E-R -E Photography, Bruiser's Photography on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, you'll see what he's doing and what he got you know and up in the future you'll see why he bought this tent because you'll be taking shots from some more remote places anyway guys that's enough for me um, if you like this video hit like subscribe notification bell all that jazz you know the go and of course in the description you'll see a link to conceptual creative who are just totally supportive of everything I do and they help do these sort of things so make sure you check them out and see what you know give them some love because they do so much with online services from web hosting to website design and all that. Um, but yeah, until next time, leave in the comments, tell me what you think. Um, and if you've got questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. Until next time, I'm Mark Shades, Exploring Australia Gear Review Edition, I guess. Anyway guys, see ya!